Good morning, everybody. It's Thursday already. Wow, is it Thursday? September 16th? Wow. Wow. Yeah. How's everybody doing out there today? Just hanging in there with this COVID. I can't, I, I don't know who to believe. But they, they did a test at the school down here because they have like a doctor's office in there. So they did a test. They went up both nostrils with the thing and they touched the eyeball on both of them. That test came back positive. But my insurance company sent a company to my house the following day, Tuesday. And they called like late, late afternoon yesterday, my, uh, the lab core, lab place. It said it was it was negative I said okay so one was positive one was negative within a you know they, they were taken over a 24 hour period over a 24 hour period so one's positive one's negative so i have all the symptoms of it so it's more like every day the symptoms are different the first three days was a high fever that would not go down and i know they want you to go to the emergency room they kept on saying that but the emergency room has no room for you over here we can't help you it's so it's, they got so many COVID patients. I'm telling you, they said people are waiting to get seen two to three, uh, three days. One lady died actually in the waiting room, waiting two days to get seen. That's how bad it is. So I'm trying to stay away from there. When you, when the ambulance, when the ambulance come, they tell you don't go to the hospital. They tell you that stay out of the hospital. It's full of COVID. So they they don't want to take you anyway. So. They got the National Guard down there and the hospitals around here locally to help people. But right now it feels like just no energy, drained, like I got the flu. It feels like I got a flu real bad. You know what I mean? So, tired. You know what I mean? Just beat up, run down. And uh, I think my temperature last night, I took one Tylenol. Well, you know, I, I, I don't like taking all them Tylenols two or three at a time when you get a fever because it's not good for your liver. It destroys your liver, you know what I mean? It's not good for your liver. It's only a temporary relief, you know what I mean? It doesn't stop it. It just, you have to keep on popping them like candy every eight hours, six hours, or whatever it is. Keep popping them, pop, pop, pop them. Popping them like candy. It tells you right in the bottle, it's a temporary relief. It's not, it's not going to stop it. So, yeah, so the fever comes and goes. So, it was good this morning. It was like 98.7. 98 uh, 7 98 6 this morning so it was good this morning so yeah it feels good out here it's one of them it's one of them days where it's like the sun's not out it's like real gloomy real gloomy day today you know what i mean it feels good out here so yeah so how are you guys doing out here so been just been hanging in there i mean my kids seem like they've been out of school for a month they miss a month. They don't have no virtual school. So basically they've skipped, they missed 30, 30 days worth of school, it seems like. They didn't off virtual. Now, I did pretty good not having COVID. And as soon as the kids got, my four kids went back to school, they brought COVID home. So, and my wife's mom, she's actually at the hospital because she's older with underlying health conditions. And she's got COVID and got pneumonia and all that. And the kids brought it home to her. And they act like just the kids will get COVID, not you. They act like that at school, which is all wrong. You have to get you have to get used to it. You're gonna to have to build immunity, blah blah blah. But they don't understand. They don't think about the other guy. You know what I mean? Nobody's 100% healthy, perfect, and all that. So, yep. So now she's in the hospital. She's been there for what two days now. So she had a she was actually in the, in the emergency room floor for a good day or and a half, I think, before they brought her to the floor because they have no room. They have no room at all. They got more people going in than going out. So they're trying to blow them off, though, saying it's anxiety, COVID, or something. Some kind of anxiety, COVID crap. They're not saying it's COVID. It's called COVID anxiety. You think you got COVID, but it's COVID anxiety or something. Some stupid crap these nurses are coming out with. Because I think that hospital, don't have, they don't have any doctors there. I think it's all nurses. You know what I mean? And they're stressed out. You know what I mean? If you're getting paid the same, your workload's like 100 times of hundred times more you don't want to you know you're stressed out like I don't know, all this work can we just blow them off and get them out of here say it's anxiety or something COVID anxiety or blow them off get them out of here <laughs> you know what I mean that's how bad it is they just they just they're just burned out burned out so yeah so that's what's going on so I still have no appetite loss of taste loss of smell 
and like a, like a bad cold, a real bad cold. They did a video visit yesterday with my doctor. She uh, she says she just looked at me, and said, oh, "Okay, you look fine. You look great. You look all right. You look fine." And that was it. It was a waste of time when somebody looks at you and say, "You look fine. You look great." Keep on saying you look great. They're going by your looks. You know what I mean? It's kind of crazy. You know what I mean? When I called my insurance company up and said they're doing video visits saying I look great, I look fine. The video visit's not even two minutes long. They're going to so they're not going to pay the bill. You know what I mean? Don't ask me questions. They say you look fine, you look great, you look fine. And that was it. How can you tell by looking at somebody they look great? Is that the new generation of the nursing? You look great, you look fine. She needs to go to the hospital, them COVID rooms, tell everybody you look fine, you look great. You're getting released today. You look great, you look fine. You look great. I hate when they do that because I just fired a couple months ago a nursing company. My hair doing the same crap. You look fine. Well, I don't know why in the hell we're here. And comparing my heart rate, my blood pressure, and my weight to her weight. And she jetted out of here real fast. You look fine. You look great. I don't know why in the hell we're here. This one is doing the same damn thing. So, yeah. As far as having a, a nurse practitioner come to your house anymore, the quality just sucks. Yeah, them coming and telling you you look great, you look fine, you look great. No, uh, yeah, whatever. Yeah, I can. How can you tell by looks? When I told my neurologist that, they laughed. They're like, "Oh my God, you got one of those doctors? <laughs> you better get somebody else." I did get somebody else. They keep on changing them. I had real good nurses and doctors come in here, and they keep on changing them. They keep on quitting or something. And I get these clowns, clowns, I call it. They send a joker to your house. You look great. You look fine. You look great. <laughs> that is crazy isn't it but yeah i'm gonna hop off here i'm gonna go get me something to eat and uh, you guys have a lovely day comment down below okay and hopefully it's uh been how many, how, how many days i had covid since i had symptoms saturday so it's saturday sunday monday tuesday wednesday thursday six days and still feel the same actually it gets worse every day <laughs> the symptoms get worse every day so all right it's like a real bad cold Okay, cold, loss of taste, loss of smell, loss of appetite. Nauseated. So, whatever eat and drink, I don't taste nothing. <laughs> I could have the most nastiest food in the world and can taste it. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? But yeah, thanks for watching. You guys hit that like and subscribe button. Comment down below. Remember, COVID sucks. Bye now.